Uh, hello, everybody. I'm State Representative Frank Hornstein. My, uh, the district that I represent is part of downtown and southwest Minneapolis. And uh, I, first of all, just really want to thank Eureka, thank the organizers. This has been an amazing day. Let's put our hands together. And our new co-president, who's amazing. Uh, and I, uh, there's so many important themes as we wrap up that I, w I wanted to focus on. Uh, but one is, and thanks to the people from Baltimore, welcome. Your inspiration is contagious. Um, they talked about power. And so much of what this issue is, is reclaiming our power, reclaiming our power to make change. Last night, we had Congressman John Lewis, icon of the civil rights movement who walked across that Edmund Pettus Bridge and risked his life for voting rights. And he talked about the fact that sometimes we have to make a little trouble to make a little progress. And I think that's what taking back power is all about. Because on this issue, the landfill companies, the incinerator companies, their allies, their lobbyists, all the big money that goes into this, we can beat them, as, they, as, as was depicted in Baltimore. And as the Sierra Club here, and MPERG here, and NOC here proved, we can beat them here when Hennepin County wanted to expand that incinerator. So thank you to all those great organizers. So we have to look at this issue in terms of our power, our ability to organize, our ability to make change. And so one of the things I'm very excited about that Barb is going to talk uh, a little more about as well is that we want to create in the Minnesota State Legislature uh, a, an action, a movement that we make uh, Minnesota a zero waste state. And what are the policies and what are the actions that we need to take in the public arena as a state to make us a zero waste state? That is the kind of legislation we want to craft together with you. This is a partnership. And of course, you're going to hear from our great congressman in just a minute or two. He's doing something similar at the federal level. So we have to work at all levels of government, locally, state, nationally to take back our power to build a zero waste state and a zero waste country. Thank you so much. I hope you will join us in that effort. And we have some specifics. Uh, Senator Marty is uh, uh, one, of the, uh, one of our partners in this. Uh, Senator Marty and I uh, passed legislation in 2014. Uh, we beat back some big business pressure and lobbying to increase our recycling and composting goals uh, in our region and to make some mandates on business that they start doing a little bit more recycling. So we can have those victories. Senator Marty and I teamed up on that, and we're going to team up again. So I want to introduce uh, Barb uh, Jacobs, who works with Senator Marty. He took a tour of Eureka a couple of weeks ago, and he was so inspired by that that now he's going to put together some legislation, and we're going to work together with all of you on that. So Barb, take it away. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Let's continue to work together and to organize together for zero waste. Thank you so much. So I'm usually the person behind the scenes, not the one that talks. <laughs> um, but uh, my boss is Senator John Marty. He chairs the Environment and Energy Committee in the Minnesota Senate. And um, it was really fun to hear today people talk about BPA, microbeads, triclosan, community solar, flame retardants. Actually, that one didn't come up, but I'm adding that in because that's something we did recently. But formaldehyde, these are all things that we um, have worked to ban or um, curtail at the Minnesota legislature. So um, that only happens, though, when we hear from you. Um, policy um, happens, and if you're not at the table, it will happen to you. So we're really excited to be working with Eureka on uh, creating a, a, a bill that will outline what a zero waste Minnesota will look like. And I really hope that you guys pay attention and uh, we hear from you um, so we know how to do it right. So thank you so much.
And we'll be committed to making sure we share opportunities to weigh in that will keep you posted on the progress and let you know about the hearings and make sure that we can all um, have our voices heard in, as we create this bill together. So finally, I want to introduce Representative Keith Ellison, who got off a plane and ran here so he could join us. And we're just so thrilled he's here. What an awesome, awesome day, man. You guys really have been driving this conversation. You all are the leaders locally, Baltimore, Minnesota, other communities, Northfield. Who else is here, by the way? That's it? Chicago, come on now, don't be shy, audience participation. Who, who else is here? Chicago's here. Germany. Did you say Poland over there? Oakland, Oakland, <laughs> Oakland. You know, all these communities around our country really drive and change, and I just really love the part that I got to hear, you know, new organizational structures to have to democratize business and wealth formation. That, that's awesome. And, and you know, that great idea you had makes up for them boots that you're wearing, my brother. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and they, no, they really are fabulous. But, but the thing is, but the thing is, a lot of wonderful ideas around advocacy and driving the conversation. And I just want to tell you, and I say this, you know, with 17 days left in an election, you know, we, the law really is not set up in a way to help us facilitate what we need to do. You know, you know, Bernie Sanders and I had a bill called the End Polluter Welfare Act. And that's right. And you know what? We found that we found that over over $110 billion worth of subsidy is given to big coal, big oil, and big gas. Now, way less than that is given to, uh, to uh, solar and wind. And and at, at this point, the federal government has no program that we've been able to find that actually promotes zero waste. So we've got to restructure what the law looks like. The law should benefit the people, not the big business. The law should benefit the many, not the money. You know what I mean? And so this is really part of our, our strategy. Some of you all will bring your scientific knowledge. Some of you will bring your advocacy. And others of you are going to have to bring your ability to come and change what the law is. And that's true at the state, the local, and the federal government. And so, Frank, hats off. Thank you for the work you guys are going to be doing. We introduced a couple of years ago a bill called the Zero Waste Development and Expansion Act. And we're pushing this piece of legislation because what we want to do is use the resources of the federal government to say to local communities everywhere, Baltimore included, everywhere, that we want to help subsidize your drive towards zero waste. Uh, at this point, you know, uh, we're, we're not doing that. But we really should be doing that. And we've gotten a lot of great sponsors for it. We want your organization to look at the piece of legislation. We think we're a long, long, long way from where we should be on this. But you got to start somewhere. And so let me just say to you guys that so much of what Frank said is absolutely right, but understand that voting in elections, while it may be some of the ugliest parts of power acquisition, it is part, and we need to keep that in mind too. Because if those guys who created the situation that we have now uh, can help the law can facilitate what they're trying to do, we then have the ability to shift the law to make real, real what we are trying to do. And so let's join in on that front now, and I think we can do it if we really dig in and we really fight for it. So uh, thank you all for, uh, for doing this. Uh, Eureka, you are not only taking useful stuff and converting it into other useful stuff as opposed to burning it and burying it, you are driving the, the debate. You're driving the conversation. You're driving the discussion and in the, in the creativity of the people assembled here in this room today uh, is gonna lead to some places to where we never thought it would go. All because you brought us together and generated a critical conversation. So I'm committed for the long run. I know Frank is. Uh, let's keep doing it, you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>